It's mandatory. It's bright and early this morning. I had the opportunity through Champion to head up to Boone, Iowa today to the Iowa State Field Extensions uh, Learning Farm. And I hope they have an acronym for that. But they're going to be going through everything that they have going on there from planting decisions to lime and pH effects on crops to fungicide management, nitrogen management. It's like it should be a great day to learn some stuff. And these guys are extremely smart and know what they're doing. And the kicker at the end of the video is, is that I hope I have the opportunity to go to Ellsworth, Iowa, where Champion is based out of. And they have a plot there, and I'm hoping to walk through that. That way I can get my eyes on it for the first time and see kind of how things are going up there around Ellsworth, Iowa. And um, that's what we're going to be doing today, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Good long morning drives means that I can catch up on some podcasts. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Fieldbird Podcast. My name is... Pushing maturities out to the end of the uh, edge of the well adapted range is, is really where we, we would want to maybe look to be. So. These are demo plots, so it'll come fine to walk out. No, don't starve it hard. So that's nitrogen deficiency. Or with. Wait, no. Yeah, this is. This has potash. This is nitrogen deficiency. But and has potash, yeah. so this has no nitrogen That's on it. That's always going to be your nitrogen deficiency. You're right along the right there. It starts right along here the and goes right up in the middle. It goes right yeah. up in the middle. That's nitrogen. Yep. And then so this has oh, nitrogen. Oh, yep. And this is a potash deficiency. Yep. So that's the difference there. The outside is potash. Outside's potash. Inside's the, nitrogen. Right nitrogen. So, and you can see it as you go down here. That. Potash deficiency, yeah, because this has more and more nitrogen as we go this way. Eight um, percent means that if, if, if you, or ten percent means that you have a 200 bushel of corn, then you get 20 bushel re response. Okay. These are getting a little bit steamy in my vials, but in this vial I actually have one of those, uh, the larva of those Asian, of the lady beetles, and there's an act, there's an adult lady beetle in here too, so I can pass that around. And so somebody asked Toss what best product, um, I don't it would know be if it starts spreading here. So, um, Damon Smith from the University of Wisconsin. These are the new three two beans for next year that are winning all the plots. It has a frog eye gene in it. I mean, look at how healthy these beans are. These are gonna be crazy good. Nice short season bean for our area. I think this is gonna be the hybrid that if people down in our area wanna have dry corn going into the bin with some yield, the 60A20, 110 day corn, probably going to be a hybrid to look at 61 a 19 is looking really good this whole plot has had 190 units of nitrogen put on it and uh, fungicide treatment of Triva Pro. 62 a 18 is the racehorse hybrid here has insane yield potential but it needs to go to the guy that wants to highly manage his corn side dress it fungicide high fertility dirt and this be a winner 63a 13 is like on those old commercials where they would say set it and forget it it's the set it and forget it corn it's an older hybrid but it's doing really really good they like to call it the sleeper corn all i can say about 64a 15 ding 64A20 is a new corn for coming out next year. I do have this in my plot. This is a corn that excites me. It's like this. This is looking real nice. Then something pretty exciting is that next year we have certified organic corn.
Well, that's going to end it for this video. I'm at our farm that's been at the, in the family for 100 years here. It's super good farm in terms of the dirt and everything like that. Fortunately, it was planted really late here. It looks fantastic. The plant health is great. It's like all these are 18 around. One was 20. It's like uh, 35 plus kernels long. It's like this looks great. One problem I've run into here is though, we've got bugs. And it's like we've got bugs eating our silks that's great but anyways thank you guys for watching this video it'll be fun heading into next year's seed season or this year's seed season into next year i'm excited about things but we're gonna lose you guys here so we'll catch you on the next video guys i gotta find my way out of here